Um, I'm going to begin, Hans, by asking what your process is as a composer. So Zach comes to you and says, I want you in this movie. Do you just start creating music off the top of your head or do you, is it through conversations with him, the screenplay, or do you need to see footage of the movie first to help get into the no, uh, mindset? No, look, the, the process is very much like, it's very childlike in a way. You know when your mum used to come to you at night and say, let me tell you a story, it's so great. So what happens to me inevitably is somebody phones me up or comes over, a director, and you know, in Zach's case, it's like full on Zach coming over with a lot of energy. He goes, let me tell you a story. And they start telling you a story about Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman and Lex Luthor and all this stuff happens. You know, and you're sitting there and you're going, oh wow, you know. And as the story progresses, you start hearing sounds, you start hearing fragments of notes, or you start figuring out a style, or you look at the, you look at some drawings or whatever. Um, and so that's really the start. Um, the problem is the, the, the director then has to go off and shoot the movie and leave me sort of alone, you know. And so because I love the I love the sort of you know just bouncing ideas off. You know, yeah, what about those? What about this? You know, and I, I sit at the piano or whatever, you know, while, while the story sort of unfolds. Or I sit in front of a good bottle of red wine and <laughs> while the story unfolds. Um, and I try, I, I, write, I write as they're shooting or I try to write before they're shooting. Um, I remember on Inception, I was sort of just writing away while Chris was shooting and there came a point where he finished shooting the movie and he was editing and I said, okay, send me over the movie. And he, he goes, no, not until you finish writing the score because he really liked that process that we were just working from conversations, you know, um, and we weren't sort of, you know, music wasn't sort of tagged on afterwards, you know, and it wasn't sort of slavishly hitting the cuts. It, was, it, it had a much larger arc, which is, you know, very much what, what, what it does in this movie as well. So how was the collaborative process with Junkie XL? Because I, I read that initially you were going to do a one sort of tune each and then you decide, and then I, you couldn't quite let Batman go. <laughs> I think that is probably the truth. I couldn't <laughs> quite let it... No, no, the whole thing was, you know, oh, I've done 11 years of Batman. I need to be respectful to the work I did with Chris, Chris the two Chris's. Um, and I need to be very respectful to Ben Affleck, who's going to go and put everything into there. And... The, you know, the, the the idea was simple because Junkie's a great friend, he's a great musician. Um, he came, we, I didn't know that, at the, he didn't know that at the time. He came off a, you know, off a real high with Mad Max. Um, and I don't know, it's, it's just, you know, we, we get into a room and, and we just start playing around. And I, I, I had gotten, I had gotten stuck on that Batman theme. You know, it, I mean, it's 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 really simple. Well, they always are. You know, it's like at, at the end of the day, it sounds really simple because you get rid of all the complicated notes. It's getting rid of the notes, which is the hard part. Um, and you know, and, and I mean, it's just his energy and it's just his musicality. And he's a good filmmaker. I mean, like I I came up with the Wonder Woman thing, and it was sort of a bit shocking to everybody what that thing was and I didn't even quite know how to put it up against her character and Junkie literally just said okay let's just put it onto this shot and it was like ooh oh, he's I would never have dared to do it so 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 the the, the whole point of collaboration is this co collaborators uh, encourage you to try foolish and slightly dangerous things mm -hmm. you know that's that's the good part. And just really quickly, can we expect to see you in, in Justice League working on that, or the spin-offs, you know, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, The Flash? You know something? How about let me just get through this one, <laughs> <laughs> do, do we? Um, no, I'm I, I, I'm just changing direction just for a little bit. I just want to see what happens. I, I, I'm I'm just going to go and not do movies for a little bit, and I'm just going to go on tour and just play a bit of music live and just get my mates together and just make a lot of noise live. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Well, thank you so much for your time thank today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!